say it was 10 minutes out. When you're waiting for someone special to arrive. This is actually for real. <laughs> the last few minutes always seem to take the longest. Oh my gosh, my heart is beating 50 miles an hour. It's just an incredible day. For Linda Hudgens, this moment is like Christmas Eve. Yes, it is, even better. <laughs> Linda scans the skies for her Santa. There it is. Not flying a sleigh, but a Cessna. Here he comes. A family reunion. My heart's beating faster and faster. <laughs> or military homecoming, this is not. This is just an unbelievable story. Griffin Phillips Leesman is flying a mission from the heart. 100 miles from Harrisonburg, to Chesterfield. Good morning. Yay! This new friendship started with a phone call to St. Matthias Episcopal Church. Linda didn't believe the stranger on the line. He said, you know, I'd like to bring food. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? Griffin promised a donation of supplies for the church's stressed food pantry. The first call was quite interesting. They weren't sure if we were either pranking them or, or joking. A godsend out of thin air. I don't know how he found us. I have no idea. He just picked us. Virginia Airfeed, that is our that is our organization that we created. Griffin would fly a plane load of nourishment. He said, well, I think about 460 pounds of food. And I'm like, oh my gosh. You're going to find flour <laughs> in here and, and jellos and things like that. We can go anywhere in the state and we can get there in, in two hours. So it's just really a time effective process. What sets this donor apart from others? His age. When he told me he was 16, I just, I, I couldn't even speak for a minute. Yes, when most teens are learning to parallel park, Griffin files his flight plan. I'll tell you, it was quite a trip today. <laughs> I bet. It was a beautiful uh, day, though. Yeah, beautiful, but, but quite, quite bumpy. The 10th yeah, grader in ROTC at Harrisonburg High School raised $2,000 and started shopping. We mostly collected canned goods. We have canned fruits, canned vegetables. Flying for just a year and a half, Griffin wanted to do his part combating COVID-19. I believe in service as the greatest virtue. There is no limit to what Griffin can do. Friend and flight instructor Cindy Fierick says her student is wise beyond his years. All right, thank you, sir. People are struggling. Thank you. People are struggling emotionally, physically, you know, in so many ways. And so hopefully this can be some kind of inspiration for people to say, how can I help? At the food pantry, Griffin's generosity is filling depleted shelves and in turn, empty stomachs. I think it says so much about his character. It shows his servant's heart that he understands that we are all in this together and we are gonna make it through together. These fine individuals are in the thick of it. So I, you know, I, I really expend all my gratitude towards them to feed the people of Chesterfield in, in and around the area. With his nonprofit taking off, Griffin's layover lasts just a few minutes. With so many hungry people to help, he needs to keep moving. It's the biggest reason that we're doing this. I don't really see them as strangers. I see them as uh, fellow Virginians. This today is, is a blessing for us. It just came from up above. Linda Hudgens knows good things come to those who wait. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially when it's a teen angel who is truly earning his wings. It's just an amazing gift that he probably will never really understand the depth of what he's doing. Since his initial trip, Griffin has delivered food to Martinsville, Virginia, with another trip planned to Chesterfield this weekend. Griffin would like to make a career of flying. He has hopes and dreams of becoming a U.S. Marine Corps pilot. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.